What's up everybody? Brian here in the Gecko Lab. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I know, I know, it's been a little while. First off, if I may say, you look beautiful. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I will have a lot of videos coming your way soon. I want to share with you guys everything I've done over the summer, over this couple month hiatus, why I've been gone and not making too many videos. I got a lot to tell you. New gecko pairings, lots of babies coming out, exciting things with the business. I traveled some. Obviously, I was in Costa Rica for a while. And then we had our first ever Altitude Exotics Adventure Retreat in Belize. Lee's. It was such a good time. I had the most amazing trip there. I'm going to make a whole video talking about that. I'm also going to be announcing my next adventure retreat in Belize. That will be this coming February. All the details on that coming soon, along with all your regular gecko content that you've grown to know and love here on the Altitude Exotics YouTube channel. But for today, we're talking geckos. We're going to take a look at some geckos, specifically geckos that are going up for sale. That's right. My weekly sales are making their return. We're getting towards the end of the summer. It's about time to start selling some geckos again and shipping weather will be opening up very shortly. So things are going to get exciting. So for today, thank you guys for joining me. Let's get right into it. I have, I believe, 18. Let me check. 18 geckos, 18 geckos going up on the website this Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. As always, here is your preview. All right, everybody, let's get right into it. Gecko number one today is this beautiful C2 cream, orange and cream quad stripe. So this girl has that C2 gene. If you remember back to the spring videos, we talk about this a lot. The C2 gene is like an enhancer gene. It's a form of hypomelanism. It limits the melanin production. So they look real clean, crisp, bright, all the colors pop. And it's most prominently known on these orange geckos. This girl has it and she is absolutely beautiful. Big giant head on this one. Great solid full pinning all the way down. White dorsal, nice lateral markings. And of course that dark reverse Reverse pinstripe tiger stripe marking right below the dorsal line. Absolutely beautiful. I love her eyes too. This gecko eyes are so awesome. She's going to be up on the website Friday. After her, we've got this girl, a red pinstripe. Very similar to the orange girl, just in red. Not quite the same lateral markings, more of those harlequin markings on the side. The key with this one, she is a low expression for that drippy dorsal trait. You can see right below the pins there, those little white spots, kind of like drops of paint coming down off the dorsal. That is the lowest expression drippy dorsal trait. So she does have that great color, great looking gecko. And of course, again, that big, big head up top that I love so much. Beautiful girl there. After her, we have this extreme Harlequin male. This guy is a light lavender based extreme Harlequin tricolor. Great head structure as always, big long crest. You can see he has that drippy dorsal white spot trait as well. You can see it running right below the dorsal line and then also some white spots on his back legs. That's another good marker sign for it. And of course his pattern, that really kind of gunmetal gray, that fired up lavender color, base color, orange pattern with the white sprinkled on top, just an all around a beautiful looking tricolor. He would be a great addition to any Harlequin project after him a really high contrast pinstripe. This guy, again, a theme today, big head. Look at the size of that head, how wide it is. Big, long crest, nice, tall crest all the way down the back. And my favorite selling points for him, the contrast, a dark, dark base color, nice contrasting pattern. And then on the last guy, how I was saying, you look for those, those markers for the low expression, white spot, drippy dorsal traits. You see the white spot right in the middle of his back leg there. That's another marker for that trait. These are ones that you can use to expand that white spot trait and eventually get those really cool looking that almost look like lily whites, but they're not. They're that white spot drippy dorsal. This is the lowest expression of that. So a great breeder you can add into a bunch of different projects with him. After him, we have this one. I believe this one is a young female. Always check the website for the sexes because all I have here is the pictures of the geckos and sometimes my brain forgets all the details, but the website is always correct. I believe this one is a young female. Again, really low expression, white spot, drippy dorsal. You're gonna start seeing that in a lot of my geckos because that's worked its way into so many of my projects. I absolutely love the look of that mutation. So it's gonna be present more and more common moving forward. Great light lavender base color on this girl, real thick white dorsals again, big head as always, great looking gecko there. 
After her, we have a kind of C plus, B minus grade charcoal. This girl is a charcoal lined female. She's a charcoal tiger. You can see those tiger lines going up and down. Big head again. A lot of the charcoals don't have the biggest heads. They're kind of average structure, but some of them, a couple of my breeder males now do have really big heads. So I'm expecting the structure in the charcoal line to improve. This girl's a great example of that. Not the darkest color, not the most melanin concentration on her, but a solid B minus C plus grade charcoal girl there. After her, we have this really dark A-grade charcoal male. This guy, as you can see with my new background, let me know if you guys like the background for these pictures. I got some new kind of foam marble setups that I thought I'd try seeing some pictures on. I have a white one too that I'm gonna try one week. Let me know what you think of that. But this guy almost disappears into the background. It looks like the picture is way underexposed because he's so dark. But if you look at the white lines in the marble compared to the other pictures, same exposure, much darker gecko. He's just that dark. Great looking boy, again, those big long caress, real high concentration of melanin, high grade charcoal male right there. After that, we have this really interesting charcoal male. So this guy's like a C grade charcoal, really not that dark, but I really like him because he's a phantom pinstripe as well. Lots of spots, which I think is really neat. And then I love, of course, that full lateral line with the white tipped pins and the white tipped pins coming up part of his back. Even the sides of his giant head are tipped in white. Not really sure I would use one this one for a charcoal project personally, but a phantom pinstripe or phantom pinstripe Dalmatian project, he would be an incredible addition. Of course, that charcoal is going to add something to those lines too. So personally, I would breed this guy to a really, really dark, high contrast female pinstripe and you're going to get a mix of phantoms and really high contrast pinstripes, good structure. It would be a great pairing. After him, I think this is the last charcoal for this week. I've gotten a lot of people hitting me up for charcoals, so here they are. A really dark female. This is an A-grade female, similar to the male, two geckos back. Very, very dark, almost blends into the background. Lots of melanin, good looking girl. You can see those white flecks. You guys have heard me say it before, just the way I take my pictures on a gecko that dark. Any little specks of leftover skin from a shed, which all geckos have, they just reflect that light because the gecko's so dark. Gives them a really cool look. Absolutely love this one, super dark charcoal. She will be on the website. After that, this is my favorite gecko of the whole update. Check this girl out. Huge, huge head. We'll get that out of the way off the bat because that's the most unremarkable thing about this gecko, which is saying something because that's an enormous, beautiful looking head structure. Then you move down to her body. Wow, this gecko is next level. Dark black base color, jet black, bright, orange vibrant markings with those white harlequin markings over just the best quality high patterned extreme harlequin tricolor you're about to see this girl is one of a kind i don't sell many like this i should be keeping her but i have too many breeders already and i'm kind of running out of space for babies so i gotta slow down on what i keep this girl man if yeah, it's gonna hurt me to sell this one but i did make the decision I can't expand the Extreme Harlequin project anymore at the moment, so she is gonna hit the website. Just an incredible specimen. After her, we have this one. I think this one's a young male, might be a young female, I don't remember. Again, check the website for the sexes, but a beautiful lavender pinstripe. Great head structure again. You can see the length of those crests all the way down to the back of the neck where they kind of bunch up when her head's tilted in the right way. A lot of people really like that look. I really like that look with the big head structure, beautiful lavender base color, nice bits of pattern on the sides and the back legs. Really cool looking full pinstripe female there. After that, ooh, this is another one of my favorites. Red quad stripe girl. Huge head on this one. So many good structured geckos this week. Big head where those crests are falling down. Big floppy head, full pinstriping, full lateral striping, a bright red color. Red quads just don't really get any nicer than this. So if you're looking to add a red quad, looking to bring some color into your pinstripe projects, pick this girl up. You will not regret it. After that is this male quad stripe, a lavender quad stripe. Again, you can see those crests drooping down, super long spikes on this guy on his crest. I love that perfect lateral line. So fun fact, that C2 gene on the very first gecko we talked about, these really clean, la these really clean lavenders, they have that C2 gene too. You can tell by the way, there's kind of an outline around this guy's pattern, like his, uh, 
his lateral pattern there, how it's kind of outlined with a thin, crisp line. That's always a sign of that C2 gene. Those lines get real thin and crisp, their colors get brighter. This dude has that C2 gene. This is just how it's expressed in a lavender gecko. So super cool, versatile breeder there. After him, we've got a confetti line confetti lying almost an ink spot big big red spots i'm not sure at what point now i'm going to be calling them confetti ink spots but we're getting close regardless this is a godzilla line offspring as you can see those big big red spots a couple big black spots mixed in there as well and this is him fired up so you can imagine how much those red spots pop when he's fired down and because i've said it for 13 geckos in a row now we're going to make it 14 great structure on this guy too after him we've got this really cool looking yellow kind of reduced pattern tiger dalmatian so this guy came out of mixing my confetti pattern my confetti line with the ink spot line this is one of the geckos that came out of that pretty good structure i like the tiger markings on this guy's i like his color he does have a few red spots mixed in with his black spots there really unique looking dalmatian after him we're getting close to the end now this female is incredible a red harlequin pinstripe white spot drippy dorsal so if you look at that dorsal line those big white spots falling down off the dorsal you can see that one white spot again in the middle of her back leg is a good marker big white markings on the side neon red color big head structure just an incredible versatile high-end breeder she's a great addition to basically any project you put her in doesn't really matter what you pair her with there's a ton of good options she'd be great adding color to a lily white project a red a really high-end red phantom male would be good a really dark based drippy dorsal pinstripe male would be good. Lots of options for her. Love that gecko. All right, next up, the next two geckos, our last two, number 17 and 18, are sold as a pair. They are only available together on the website Friday. And if any of you guys have been watching for a while, you know what that means. They are a het azanthic pair. This here is the male, a nice flame, a little bit of markings on the side, not much, a little bit of pattern on the back, not much, nice white cream on the dorsal and pretty decent head structure. He is 100% guaranteed het azanthic. And then the female to go with him, a dark red tiger. I really kind of like this girl. She's really unique, almost like a rusty red with very faint tiger markings going on. Again, good structure. I kind of paired these two up more based on the structure because a lot of people have the frankly false but the notion that uh azanthics don't have good structure which again is just patently false but if you're looking to produce azanthics with big structure specifically that's not really a project that i don't think any azanthic breeders are focusing on right now everybody's really focusing on azanthic lily whites or azanthic pinstripes or i'm now working on azanthic super dalmatians big big headed floppy crested azanthics not really something something is something somebody is specifically focusing on so if you would like to kind of do that this would be a great pair to give you a jumping off point all right guys that's it. That's it. 18 geckos. We have 18 geckos for my first week of weekly sales going through the fall. I am really hoping, fingers crossed, that I'll have weekly sales through August, September, and all of October. So keep in mind, if there's not something here tonight that you like, or if you're not quick enough to snag one on Friday when they go up for sale, there is a lot more hundreds upon hundreds of geckos headed your guys's way very very soon so stay tuned every week thank you guys so much as always i am brian with altitude exotics altitudeexotics.com is where the sale goes down 9 p.m eastern time this and every friday night don't forget to like subscribe and follow me on altitude exotics facebook and instagram pages is slash ae geckos Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. As always, be safe, be kind to each other. I will see you soon.